In some ways, ignorance is bliss when you're starting off. They, they say that if you, knew, if you know down the line what you're getting into, you just wouldn't do it. An early morning training session is Alternative's prescription for keeping your edge in business. Leaving successful corporate careers, Sandra Lawler and Alda McDonough built Alternatives, which provides access to top marketing talent. Now they've teamed up with the UK's Chartered Institute of Marketing to bring top-notch training to Ireland. You look forward in the corporate world and you can see a path of progression. But this other path of setting up your own business is such a challenge to actually create it, develop it, go down blind alleys, come back from that. When it goes right, it's like a runaway train and that's exhilarating to work in, just exhilarating. Alternatives has created an entirely unique and new model for the marketing community. So what we decided to do was to create a panel of marketing people that clients could access as and when they needed to. So whether it was a consultant for a day or whether they were looking for a very senior marketer on a permanent basis, they could come to Alternatives and through our panel access somebody you know, with really quite a fast turnaround. What am I going to clarify? What do I need to do to clarify? Really, our message to the marketing community is spend as much time managing your, your marketing team, your talent, as you do on the other elements of the marketing mix. The training product that we're bringing into Ireland at the moment is an executive training program. People who come along to the courses are really serious about their careers, they're serious about progression, they're looking for promotion. They've paid good money for this training, so they are expecting it to have a lasting impact. We see ourselves not just being in the business of marketing, but being in the business of helping organisations develop their competitive edge. People say, don't buy a house with a friend, don't go into business with a friend. And we were definitely very conscious of it. And in the early year, we would have worked very hard to make sure checking in with each other has it going. But that said, we did develop a legal contract. Certainly to date, we haven't had to use it. <laughs> We see alternatives on people's CVs now, and that is just that's great. Wow. That's I had a particularly, well, two proud moments just last week. Um, there was one um, guy who came to us. He'd heard about us in London. Yeah. So that was a real oh, yeah. buzz. And um, another girl rang early last week. She'd just come back from the States. She said that five people had recommended that she come and talk to us. Just positive feedback when you're trying to do something. It's kind of addictive, actually. You just yeah. want to keep growing it and do more and more. Yeah.